actor David Harewood has said actors should be able to do anything, including using blackface to portray black characters. In a newspaper interview this week, Harewood said, if you want to be black, if you want to black up, have at it, man. It'd be bet it better be good, <laughs> or else you're gonna get laughed off the stage. But knock yourself out. He has since issued a contradictory statement condemning blackface as grotesque and saying he does not support or condone it. Well, joining me in the studio is social commentator Maurice McLeod. Maurice, thanks for joining us. Hello there, JJ. Is blackface acceptable? Uh, absolutely not. And I'm, I'm glad that he's uh, put out a retraction. I'm not really sure what he meant when he said it was all good. Well, what about Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder? He did blackface, and I thought that was acceptable. I thought it was funny. He was poking fun at the fact of blackface. That was acceptable in that, in that occasion, right? Uh, you make a good point. So, so everything's in context, mm -hmm. um, and that film in particular, as you point out, that yeah, I, I thought about that when I, was, when I was coming in here, and it, it is good, it is funny, but the whole point is he's mocking mm. the use of blackface. The whole point is he's in it to mock blackface. Yeah. It's, not, it's not just him trying to be a black guy or trying to represent what he thinks is black culture. So I think that's, that's valid. Well, let's open up a little bit more to uh, Jewface. That's, that's come up a lot in the past few years. Bradley Cooper put on a prosthetic nose to play uh, Bernard, uh, Leonard Bernstein in Maestro. Is that acceptable? What's the difference between that and, and blackface? I, I, I agree, but to be honest, I think that, that the Jewish community need to decide whether that's acceptable to them. Uh, do you see what I mean? So, so as a black person, as someone that grew up, you know, with the black and white minstrel show, which was on until I was like eight years old and thinking that was normal on Saturday night, uh -huh. I have a particular uh, sense. Whenever I see blackface, it makes me feel a particular way. And, I, and that's, that's valid. If Jewish people have a problem with, with Bradley Cooper's portrayal, then, then, then that's for them to say. Yeah. Now, would you be opposed to, if, if it's not blackface per se, a white person playing a black character? So let's say... Yeah, there's, a, there's a, a, a film being made about Nelson Mandela. A white person playing Othello, for example. Yeah. That's a classic. Yes, a classic example. Uh, very good, Isabel. <laughs> which, which, until very recently, was, was always the case, to be honest. I, I think, again, all these things come with context, don't they? The, the, the issue with blackface isn't just, oh, we don't like the fact that someone's pretending to be black. It's the history of blackface. It's uh -huh. why it was created. It was created to mock black people. It was created towards the end of slavery and at, 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 after emancipation. To say this is this is this is what these people are like. That's that's got a very specific origin. Yes. Now uh, you know if if someone white wants to play Othello. I mean, Othello was written by a white guy. Let's remember. So so let's not pretend that that's you know it's the it's the it's a story of 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 of, uh, of getting under underneath a, a black person's soul. It was written by a white guy. Yeah, I have less issue with that, to be honest. Than... So white people can play black roles, just not black up? I think anyone has... So maybe this is what Herwood was saying. When he says anyone can play anything, have at it. Yeah. That, I'm, not, I'm not here advocating for a change in the law. I'm not here saying that this should be illegal. I'm just saying, you know, have a think. Are you really the right person? Are you going to be able to do justice to this? So anyone should be able to do anything. You've got to really question motives, though. Isabel, blackface aside, I think everyone's going to probably say blackface is not a good thing, but blackface aside, any actor, in the clues in the word actor, should be able to play any, any role. That, that is my view. I'm always a bit nervous about this because people do have really strong feelings about it mm. on one side of the debate or the other. So on the Jew face thing, you know, my instinctive view, and I'm not from the Jewish community and I don't want to say they shouldn't be upset by it, mm -hmm. but if the actor in that case was simply trying to look as like the character that he was supposed to be representing, then that seems fine to me. It's not a stereotype. It was that he was trying to look as similar to the character that he was playing, is how I would instinctively see it. Um, I don't know, people get offended about that. And I've always felt, you know, whoever it is that can play the part the best, whatever they look like, and they try to make themselves as look as much as they can to be authentic and believable. Absolutely. Well, we asked you to get in touch and tell us your thoughts on this. Uh, Philippa says, acting is the operative word. James Norton has famously played a middle-class vicar and a working-class villain. That's the whole point. Jonathan Bailey is the heartthrob in Bridgerton, but he is gay. It's acting. Never yeah. watched Bridgerton. Not for no, me. No, neither have no. I. No, no, appeal. no. Boring. Silly people <laughs> in corsets. Yeah. <laughs> big, big boobs. <laughs> big, oh, I'm in now. Fine. <laughs> Amy says, absolutely not. There may be certain storylines that are too difficult for them, especially if they haven't lived that experience. I disagree with this. 
So that's in that nonsense. case, yeah, it is nonsense. I mean, you know, you, people have play all sorts of things that have got no experience exactly. on whatsoever. So no one can ever play Superman or Batman because you've never been a real superhero. OK. <laughs> uh, Peter says, not when it insults people's intelligence by being historically and culturally inaccurate. I think Peter is referring to, was it one of Henry VIII's wives uh, was in a, a BBC documentary film or whatever, and uh, it was played by a black woman, and people were up in arms about it saying, but she was white. <sighs> Yeah, it's, if it's acting, it's acting. Anyone can play the role, right? I'm mean, I mean, sure the yeah. <laughs> Isabel. Go I on. don't. I don't know. There's like bits of this that doesn't does uh, <laughs> that do annoy me. You know, when when there are theatre companies that put on an all black, I don't know, um, very traditional thing that they make a big thing of just to be controversial. I don't know. I'm really uncomfortable with this issue. Can we shuffle on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not. I am afraid not. Maurice, what do you think about that? Um, uh, what? what Amy says there. Uh, sorry, Amy's comment was that. Um, uh, sorry, remind me, Wayne. Oh, the, it's um, it's if it's a historical, then it's not okay. Basically, if if if, if it's to, inaccurate, if, it's inaccurate. So if you suddenly decide, let, okay, let's make it this really easy. What if there was a drama about, about Nelson Mandela? The, no, about the late Queen, and the late Queen was going to be played by a black woman. Mm -hmm. How do we feel about that? It's just patently ridiculous. I would say it? it's too soon to have have that happen. I think that's a cop out. I that think, is no, not no, no, too soon. So what are you thinking in I 10 think years' in, time? She oh, can be no. played by a black woman. I think in 300 years, by the time we're 300 years down the line, people won't care so much. I think Nelson Mandela could be played by a white actor in about 250 years. So we did it today. I, I, I think <laughs> it's ridiculous. His, his race was essential to, exactly. to his character. Well, yes, but this is what, race but this is what, but this well, what so we do. So is the Queen's in a sense. Look, this is what. Queen yeah, I, I, I Director agree. JJ, this is my vision. This is what we're going to do. It'd be Nelson Mandela's a white person, and all of the white people who were oppressing him for the apartheid were black. So it'd be reversed. They flip it completely. That's what they'll which do to is, make which it has happen. Been done. BBC have done a well, show. Well, there you go. There you go. Exactly. It's like Napoleon. He's been dead long enough now that if we had a China person, Chinaman playing Napoleon. China person. <laughs> China person. Yeah, the Chinaman playing Napoleon. People would not kick off about that now, I don't think. Oh, I think they would. You think, I think so? Yeah, a Chinese Napoleon would be, again, ridiculous. I guess the question unless is why they did had you do a, it? What well, unless purpose? they had a, you know, their face was made up to look like Napoleon, in which case, I don't care who's underneath, as long as they look like the character. Oh, but then we can go to uh, Little Britain or Come Fly With Me, where David Walliams was dressing up as. It is all kinds of different races of people and mocking them. Here, look at this one. That, that, that's on our screens now. We got now. coffee, we got cup, we got sugar, we got sweetener, we got full fat milk, we got low fat milk, we got soya milk now, for the lactose That is Matt Lucas. Community. What's his and accent? I mean, that's terrible. I think it's. I, 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 you know, I don't know. I, I was going to say Caribbean. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. But that couldn't be made today. That People would find that offensive today. <laughs> Good. But, but, but what, 15 years ago it was okay? I, I don't think it was it's then, to be honest. I, I think, you know, we, we grow as a society and, you know, we don't have to do the same things that we did in the past, do True. We? That's very true. Look, I don't condone blackface. I don't think we need it. But I don't want to get to a point where only disabled actors can play disabled roles. Only yeah. gay actors can play gay roles. Yeah. Only straight guys can play straight roles. Because that just seems absolutely absurd. The Rock uh, played uh, an amputee in a film called uh, Skyscraper where he had a fake leg. And people were saying, <laughs> that should be a disabled person playing that role. I said, find me a disabled actor who's as famous as The Rock, yeah. then you can cast them. But I could talk about this all day. We haven't got time to talk about it all day. Maurice, thank you so much. Thank Isabel, you. thank you too. Well, sadly, we have come to the end of the show, but thank you for tuning in, and please do join us at the same time tomorrow. 